Uh, my name is Alex Nielsen and I'm an architect. And my name's Liz Walsh and I'm also an architect. The bay is located in Sandy Bay um, in Hobart, Tasmania. The original apartment block was built in 1972. There are 12 units in this apartment. The bay is 26.5 square metres in total. The original um, services, kitchen and bathroom, were marginally bigger than what we have now. So one of the main strategies was to really consolidate and couple the services to the back walls. This provides a more flexible like, floor plate for however you'd like to use the space. Exactly. For us, the main driving design idea for the apartment was looking at how we can actually increase the sense of space through the addition of the two skylights. And by adding the two skylights, we've been able to make the tiny footprint actually feel generous. quite spacious and generous. Yeah. Also another advantage of the skylights is that we're able to capture north light. And by pulling up the carpet, uh, we've exposed the slab, which acts as thermal mass for keeping the apartment warm during winter. We've retained a strip of the original 70s tiles at the front. We wanted to have traces of, of the history and of that 70s fabric. That was really important. In small space living, one of the, the things that seems to come up a lot, particularly in bedsit type apartments, is that um, the bed is off, always visible in the living space. So we wanted the flexibility to be able to fold the bed up, you know, open the kitchen and actually use it as a living. And we've also um, pushed the kitchen back so it actually feels like it's in a nook, it's actually not flush with the rest of the space, so it's, you know, about delineating zones. It was really important that we provided a good sized pantry It was also really important that um, the storage was deep enough and um, wide enough to accommodate a full height fridge and an oven that we could roast the chicken in. I think it was also um, really important to include the light glass flashback. It sort of ex extended the view while you're in the kitchen. One of the advantages of introducing the skylights and creating the pitched volume internally was um, creating overhead storage. It was really important that the bathroom and the main living spaces had quite different aesthetics. And one of the primary design drivers for the door was that it felt heavy and private and acoustically separate from this space you could close that heavy door, it's almost acoustically sealed. It feels like a cloister in there. Yeah, so there was an introduction of a skylight within the bathroom, so that washed uh, the wall behind the shower. And we liked the idea of bringing a little bit of 70s glamour into the space, so picking up on the colour of the existing tiles, um, pulling that into the bathroom. We're really looking at how we can be economical and functional in our material choices, but the things that you touch and that are tactile actually have patina and have a bit more glamour. And we really wanted those things to kind of, yeah, to pop and be an experience in themselves. Retrofitting um, existing apartments is hugely important for future living. As resources become more and more finite, it's so critical that we start to reuse, adapt, reimagine what our existing building stock is with better amenity and I think a better sense of community. Yeah, I don't think apartment living needs to be a compromise. I actually think it can be uh, a joy to live in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Never Too Small channel by clicking on the logo and the notification bell to receive updates on our latest episode.